Hello and welcome to Planning for Senior Life University channel. I'm Paul Nasto and I'll be your host for today. With me is Dana Hudson, founder of Cancer Champions LLC, helping individuals and families gain clarity in the confusion of a cancer diagnosis. She compassionately consults, educates, and facilitates for individuals and their loved ones as they navigate a complicated healthcare system, empowering them to make life-altering decisions with confidence. Dana, my doctor is highly rated and I like him. Why would I need to hire a private advocate? Being confident and, enjoy and liking your healthcare team is, is part of the battle, right? That's one of the first steps, so that's good. However, what a lot of people don't realize is physicians only spend about a third of their time right now in actual face-to-face -face patient engagement. Most of them um, just don't have the time due to all kinds of things, regulations, things that they're responsible for, um, reimbursement structures, things have changed. And just to keep the lights on, the physicians have a lot of different um, responsibilities that they need. So what's happened is, Whereas in the past in healthcare, your physician may do additional research um, on your behalf as far as clinical trials that might be available. They may be able to spend more time educating you about your disease or connecting you with supportive resources. The physicians just don't have the time to do that anymore. And oftentimes, um, I, I have heard even the best physicians tell their patients, I, I really, there's nothing else that I can really do for you. And here's the clinicaltrials.gov website, and you can go and take a look and see what you can find. And so even the best physicians just do not have the time to provide the depth of service that people that are facing a cancer diagnosis really need. And so by hiring a private advocate, you are gaining the time that you need, um, one, to be prepared when you are with your physician to make sure you maximize the time that you have with that physician, but also to do the things like researching clinical trials for you and connecting you with supportive resources and doing the things that physicians actually used to be able to do for their clients, but they just don't have the, the capacity to do it anymore. So that's the value that a private advocate would bring. I would like to thank our guest today, Dana Hudson, founder of Cancer Champions, LLC. If you would like to discover more trusted individuals in various disciplines for seniors, visit planningforseniorlife.com. I'm Paul Nasto. Thank you for viewing and listening today. And please join us next time at Planning for Senior Life University channel.